Help support AMTV by becoming a patron, an AMTV staff member, and following us over on Twitter. Hi there guys, it's Adam Martin here, and welcome back to another episode of The Now Review. And for today's instalment we're going to be looking at a 2018 release, and that will be, now that's what I call, Remix. So let's get straight into this album, let's have a look at the cover, and it's quite an interesting one. At first I thought it looked like it was on, you know, like a DJ's deck where you spin the records, but it's actually quite hard to tell. The colours are a bit, you know, a bit bland, it's just sort of a metallic silver, bits of blue and red splashed in, there's nothing that much to say here and of course to note this is only a two CD album most of these now spin-offs you can see are three discs but this one however is only two so let's flick him forward to the all-important track list 42 top chart hits remixed how appealing so I'll scan down for you here and as you can probably tell this was released towards the start of 2018 and as a result pretty much all of the songs in here come from late 2017 early 2018 which isn't a bad thing I understand with remixes aren't everyone's thing to begin with, so I think to include pretty much modern music is a good shout. There's all the logos, and there is the copyright of 2018. So that is your track list. So what is there to say about it? Well, I mean, for me, I, there's remixes, especially modern remixes, aren't that good. It's obviously many are catered for dance floors, clubs and stuff. There is one remix on here in particular that I really actually do enjoy, like, a lot. Not many of these made it on to my iPod playlist, but there was one, and where is it? It's there, Migente, Hardwell and Quintino remix, originally done by J Balvin, Willie William, Hardwell and Quintino. So the original song of Migente I didn't really like, I thought the sound was a bit droney, it wasn't a very appealing sound, but there's just something about this remix that just it kicks it into high gear and makes it that much more enjoyable for me. And there's a few songs on here that do this, but again, a lot of the originals to these are better. I do quite like the Chain to the Rhythm remix we've got on here. I also like the Man remix, originally by The Killers on there. So, you know, if you like modern music and if you're open to remixes, then I think you should go for this. However, if you're not even a fan of the modern pop stuff or just remix albums in general, you might want to save your money. There's the spine. Forgot to talk about the spine, of course. Just a plain black spine with white text. And now, I think it's time we delve in to the inside of this record. So on the inside of this album here is the disc, and this one's quite cool. It's got like, you know, level symbols there, like sound levels, nice blue and sort of orangey red with a strong white title. I actually quite like it. It's one of those more simplistic disc designs, but it actually pops really well, so good choice on the colours there. And what have we got? It's the home of hit music in your pocket. It's the Bloody Now app, which I will never probably download. There is CD2, same sort of idea, but just flipping the colours. I think CD1 looks better from a colour perspective, but this one, it isn't that offensive to the eyes. And in the centre you just have a little picture that says the, you know, it's now Remix again, and the 2CD. It'd be interesting to see what you have without the title, you know, sometimes they do that, they remove the logo and just have the picture, but they don't do that here. Okay, so I took out the little booklet, and I do sort of stand corrected, they do. It was DJ decks with records that I thought the title was. And Honestly, this image is much cooler than the one with the title, I do apologise to now, but this is a really cool image, I quite like that. And of course, it's saying follow us on all our social medias, blah blah blah. So yeah, that's just the little booklet that makes up the front cover. So overall on this album, is it worth picking up? Well, as I said, I think the main factor is, if you don't like modern music and you're not open to remixes anyway, then you may as well stay away, it's not worth you picking this up. Especially as this was a 2018 release, I, I mean I got this in HMV, which you still can get it, it's in their £215 range or £9 on its own I think. You can probably find it in places like CEX for cheaper or even online, but to be honest, you're only going to want this if you, I mean if you like modern music and you're on the fence about remixes, it's worth a shot, I, I'm sure there's one of 42 tracks that you'll like on here, but this is only really for people who enjoy the modern music and also like a bit of variation on remixes. If you really like dance music, like modern dance club music, then you aren't going to go much wrong here. But yeah, it's one of the more niche now spin-offs that they've released. Having said that, there are a few strong ones on here, but it's definitely one of the weaker ones for me as well. It won't get played often, but I am glad to have it in the collection. And that is pretty much it for this instalment of The Now Review. But I hope you enjoyed this particular instalment. Thank you very much for watching. Please like the video, share it around, subscribe. And until the next one, I will see you guys next time. Thank you to our patrons for helping to support the show, and a special thank you to Macra, 
Jen Samantha Pringle, Hux Media, Ben Freeman, Ethan Carberry Holt, The Welsh Lady, Bruce Danton, The Broken Kitsumanoid, and Cooking at Nans and DIY, our AMTV staff members.